<laughs> for both of them. Oh no, okay, they are going serious. Yeah, okay. there we go. So, so Storm Striker going using Shadow Mewtwo. And Cool Jake going his reliable Pikachu. You know, he's been using this for a long time. Mm -hmm. Cool Jake, once he's again, been, like I said, top know, player in the scene for sure. Top player in the scene. Pikachu, his original main, played like. Mm -hmm. Alright, nice job getting off a little bit of electricity. Not a whole oh. lot of damage here, but nice that counter. counter from. from Oh, All right, does get the nice side drop up. No follow up though. Beautiful vortex, gonna do a lot of damage onto Cool Jake right now. That whiff though, definitely gonna do a lot of damage here. And Cool Jake already taking round number one here in this best of three. That was really fast. Yep. But then again, Mewtwo is a glass cannon character, so like his Mewtwo, Shadow Mewtwo does damage himself during attack, but does a lot of damage. So. I mean, you do gotta give it to Storm Striker. He does have a lot of different options to play yeah. with here. Just barely missed that Vortex against the wall. That would have been huge damage. Storm going for the Yvalto. Oh! Does catch him in cool, it. Cool, Jake, just barely getting caught in that Yvalto. You know, I don't know if I agree with that. I think that having Yvalto, you know, go full off here and actually stop the burst from being able to happen yeah. in the first place would have been crucial. Yeah. But I mean, Storm Striker proved me wrong right now. <laughs> Beautiful counter through, does he get the follow up? Another vortex, vortex against the wall. The back dash did it. All right, Cool Jake does pop the Mew buff here. He is doing big damage. Storm Striker in a pickle. <laughs> super, super close there. Storm Striker just barely clutching that. If that had connected, would have been really detrimental here. All right, Storm Striker still trying to find his way in here, but it's not working out for him just yet. Cool Jake getting the nice follow-up. Of course, big said, damage. Big damage. <laughs> That's your always. catchphrase. <laughs> Massive damage. <laughs> Titanic damage. Ooh, Cool Jake just barely missing that burst. Storm. All right, tries to go with the Vortex. Still just keeping a lot of wall pressure here, but Storm Striker in a really tough position. He's got to get that health yep. back quickly. Going for you, Volta, keeping the pressure off. Nah. Oh, man, that was super close. Cool Jake taking game, game number one, one in this best of three. three. So what do you think that Storm Striker was doing that he could have maybe done a little bit differently in that first game? Alrighty, so getting right back into it, game number two. What do you think we, we need to see differently from Storm Striker in this sec in the second game? Yo, Storm has gone very aggro, so maybe try to play a bit defensive in a bit, a bit more defensive. I definitely agree here. We're actually seeing a lot of damage once again coming out from Cool Jake, but that's just Pikachu's nature. Pikachu has such an amazing opportunity to get in. Nice. Vortex? Does get the Vortex against the wall, but he doesn't get a follow-up after that. Oh my gosh, 32 HP for Storm Striker. He's got to get a shift yeah. here. Yep. All right, Cool Jake once again activating the view. Oh. Oh, <laughs> very, very quick round coming out from Cool Jake here, but a, a lot of the damage was from Storm Striker himself. Like he was hurting himself the majority of that game. So now it really boils down to HP management. Can he keep up the pressure that he was doing and maintain his HP? All right, a little bit of dancing. Footsies here. Does catch him with the Vortex. And sets up Get for the, the Evolto. Get the getting the... Locking up Cool Jake's first. I like that, I like that. Now Cool Jake can't build synergy. He's gonna be put in a really tough predicament here. And even if he pops Mew, he may not get a lot of synergy yeah. from this. Now that is actually something that's really clever about Mew as well, is if you do have a debuff, it's excellent for being able to get rid of those quickly yep. if you have two negatives as well. So big change there. All right, Storm Striker still sticking with the Yvalto. Why do you feel like he's constantly choosing Yvalto over every other support here? You know, I guess, again, that burst, again, it's a good pressure tool, you know, if they get caught, if they do get locked up burst. Again, Xiaomi 2 is a glass cannon character, so, I don't think he wants to get hit by Burst at all. So. 
That's pretty true. And Cool Jake does have the new buff online right for, for himself currently with that critical hit buff. Yep. Ooh, getting the chest frames. Beautiful job. Lots of damage coming out from Storm Striker as well. And there we go. Oh. HP management. And then the nuzzle from Cool Jake. Even so, that Mew buff has lasted a really, really long time. Cool Jake probably going to answer in kind with his burst, which he does. Cool Jake is one of those characters or those players that is very proactive in using their burst when their opponent uses burst as well. Oh, no oh, way! No. <laughs> this may be the game. Super close. Now, oh. now even so, Storm Striker has the ability to get his burst back up in like two seconds if he does things right. But... <laughs> Electro Ball, no. Cool Jake taking that 2-0 over Storm Striker. And the hug. Gotta love the camaraderie.